You've probably taken Pepto-Bismol at some point. Upset stomach, nausea, diarrhea. It's the classic pink fix. I'm pharmacist Stan with Medisol Pharmacy, and here's what this medicine actually does to your body. Pepto's active ingredient is bismuth subsalicylate. Think of it like a stomach band-aid. It coats your stomach, calms inflammation, and slows things down in your gut when everything feels like it wants to speed up. People use it for stomach aches, heartburn, indigestion, nausea, and diarrhea. You'll see it in liquid chewable and those caplets everyone forgets exist. And here's the fun part, that black tongue effect, totally real, totally harmless. Bismuth mixes with sulfur in your mouth or gut and increases bismuth sulfate, which is dark and can stain your tongue or stool. It fades once you stop taking it. No treatment is needed. And no, it's not causing internal bleeding. A quick note on safety, Pepto contains a salicylate, which is similar to aspirin. So you want to avoid it in kids or teens with a viral infection because of the risk of Ray's syndrome. If you're allergic to aspirin, pregnant, breastfeeding, or have blood thinners, talk to your doctor first. Side effects, you might feel mild constipation, darker tongue or stool, and sometimes nausea if you take too much. Most people handle it fine. Dosing is simple. Take it as needed for up to four times a day. Don't pass two days without checking with your doctor, especially if you still have diarrhea or fever. That could be something more serious. And here's one more tip. Pepto can interfere with some stool tests for infections. So if your doctor orders labs, let them know you take it. That's your quick breakdown of the pink bottle everyone seems to have in their cabinet. Thanks for watching this educational video. If you found this helpful, like, subscribe, and share it with someone who might need it. Stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.